Sled tip of the day, removing the coolant. Normally you'd remove the coolant by turning that plug open, letting it piss all over the belly pan and onto your garage floor, and or trying to snake a hose around off that nipple into something that's going to collect it and, in a semi-orderly fashion. But then it'll take three hours to empty out. For the way I'm going to show you, get a shop vac. Get a silver felt tip pen. Right water only. On your shop vac. Leave the filter out. Leave the attachments off. But you want the hose. Take the head clamp loose. Make sure the hose is loose. Get the end of your vacuum hose ready. Start to pull the coolant hose off. Turn the vacuum on. Suck the coolant off. <laughs> Once you got all the water pulled out, get an empty jug from back in the day when you used to have to buy a brand new coolant every time you took a motor out of a machine. Take the coolant in the vacuum, dump it in the jug. If you're a tight ass like me, you'll take that jug and you'll dump it back in the machine when you're done. Just make sure it's not completely disgustingly dirty. Based on how this stuff is routed, I'm taking the bottom plug off the reservoir so that I can suck it out of the main coolers that way. I'm gonna stop here before I get coolant everywhere. Then, just like that, you coolant. coolant's in a container, or in a jug if you pour it in a jug, it's not all over your floor, the whole process took five minutes instead of three hours, so there you go.